Hey everyone, so today I learned about Right on Track, that Disney Channel original movie about uh, the girls, the sisters, the Ender sisters who race their drag cars for the National Hot Rod Association. Uh, I've, I'd already seen it because I've seen like every Disney Channel original movie that exists. If you know me in real life, which the only person who watches these videos is Sam, so you know me in real life. I am a huge Disney Channel original movie person. I've seen like all of them within my lifetime and I can just talk about them for hours and nobody knows what I'm talking about because I've seen way more than anyone else I know. I've met a couple people occasionally who like know the obscure ones and I'm just like, oh my god, let's talk about the color of friendship. And they're like, yeah, racism, it's bad. The hard hitting stuff. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so I really watched it. I don't even remember why that came about. It was like 2 a.m. and I was like, what's that movie about the sisters who race cars? and no one knew what I was talking about, so I had to look it up, and then I just wound up watching the entire thing. Um, and I was really happy by the fact that it was not a bad movie. I mean, I don't know if you've ever watched a movie from, like, your childhood, and you just realize how terrible it is. Like, I watched the first episode of Hannah Montana once, and I was like, oh, God. That was, I, I, that was my childhood. And I watched Halloween Town last October when they were doing, like, the us whatever like monstober thing on disney channel i have a little sister i don't just watch disney channel for fun i mean i do but i pretend it's because of my little sister um and so yeah and oh my god it was it was awful i was like what this was my childhood that was my favorite movie so much i was i wanted to like go to halloween town i was like you know what halloween town is real and i'm gonna go there it's i do oh it was so bad that was so sad. It was heartbreaking. I mean, I still watched it. I still enjoyed it. It was still cute. It still made me nostalgic, but it was a little... It was painful to see how terrible a film that was. But, um, yeah, no. But Right on Track was still... It still warmed my heart. It was still nice. And I was like, aww. It made me smile, which was good. And I was glad for that. Um, but beyond that, I also learned that the guy who I'm going to start talking about the movie now, so if you haven't seen it, I'm not going to make any sense to you, and I'm never going to make sense again in this video, so you can just close the window. Sorry about that. Uh, but the guy who plays Randy, like the boy who was like going ice skating with Erica and is completely irrelevant to everything, but is also like a really sweet character and I like him and love him, is Calvin in Zoe 101. Calvin is the guy who like owns the coffee shop or whatever and like sells... He, he's in the episode with the customer of the week thing where like Quinn and another random girl are made customer of the week and Logan really wants to be customer of the week because he wants free coffee so he like tries to save Calvin's life but it doesn't really work because the customer of the week is just always a hot girl and then Quinn's like wait I have a boyfriend and then he's like oh new customer of the week and no one is offended because they just all want free coffee so he gets away with it it was like a really stupid subplot but whatever I don't know why I remember that but yeah so but the entire movie I had been looking at the guy who plays Randy and I was like oh my god why are you so familiar and I looked him up and now I know why he was so familiar I'm the kind of person who needs to do that like if I'm watching a movie no one else have this problem I'll be like who's the, who is that what has she been in who is that and everyone will be like shut up I don't know just watch the movie I just like can't so yeah it's nice to have fixed that problem uh that's my life just watching Disney Channel movies and I am DB and people, but so now you know something unnecessary about Disney Channel films. You're welcome.